I'm really grateful to have this time here with Vanessa Sandoval and Tanya Marquez and our very own Mr. Aguilar. And they have some really cool news to share. They are special award recipients from a, a very recent speech competition they are a part of. Um, so we're so glad to have you guys be a part of this uh, newscast or video announcement session. Um, at this time, I'm gonna ask Mr. Aguilar to share a little bit about everything that worked up to you guys going into the competition and what he did to prepare you guys and what you guys did. So I'm looking forward to this. Great. Yeah, we're in the middle of our, our academic decathlon season where uh, the kids are doing 10 different um, tests or uh, categories, speech and interview and essay, and I could just go on and on. There's 10 of them. And what the decathlon um, people at the district decided to do this year is to open up another competition just for speech. That's besides the, the 10 uh, categories. So um, this speech was going to be done, of course, on Zoom. Uh, and it's going to be and the kids had to tape themselves. And so there was obviously things that they had to do to do that. Every school was invited. Um, right now we have about 55 schools who are involved in academic decathlon. And so every school was invited. Not every school participated, but they um, and we have three categories, honors, scholastic and varsity. Of course, all our students are. And if you've ever talked to my students, you know that these are very private. I have some of the most intelligent people you'll meet. And, <laughs> and um, very lucky to have them, believe me. Um, this year we have an all-female cast and they're all great, um, all nine of them. Well, this year we have eight. Uh, and so Vanessa's in the honors and um, Tanya's in the varsity. And I'm not gonna lie to you, they're two of our best speakers. So I was so happy that they volunteered to be part of it. Not everyone did because it's kind of scary to do. They're working on their other speech, which happens to be, we found out that we, they could use the same speech, but at first we didn't know that. And so the other students are working um, on their other categories. So these two say, hey, I, we're open to do this new speech competition. So they entered it. And let me tell you, they worked hard to, to put it together. I actually didn't get to see Tanya's finish one until towards the end. And then when I watched, I go, oh, I get why she won a medal, right? And then, and then of course, Vanessa blows me my, she last year, just so you know, she won a gold medal in this category at the district level. Wow. That's, that's wow. not minimal. That's big for Southgate High School to get a gold medal awesome. in speech. Okay. So she did that last year. And we, and of course, we're expecting wonderful, great things from her this year as well. So we're pretty lucky to have them both. So I'll, I'll, cut, I'll quit talking. I just let you know they did work hard. It's a four minute speech. They had to, to stand up and, and give it. And remember, it's kind of scary doing it a speech anyway, but doing it this way and, and not right. sure how it's going to come through. Um, I saw some of the speeches and these two hit it out of the park. And I was so happy that my two people who, who actually participated got medals. So I'll let them talk about it and I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> oh man, that's exciting. You're like, I'm all super energized about this now. All right, so Vanessa, tell us specifically what award you received and how do you feel? Okay, so hi, um, I received the uh, bronze medal for my category and honors. I am honors, as Aguila mentioned, it goes from honors to last varsity and I am part of honors and Again, I received the bronze medal, which is technically considered like third place. Um, obviously, like, I, I don't know when I found out, I was like, oh, really? Yeah, you know, obviously, when you find like good news, you're kind of always like speechless. Um, so, yeah, it was, I was speechless at first. I was kind of like, hey. Um, but now I just kind of feel, you know, glad that I did try because oftentimes a lot of people don't want to uh, at least put in an effort or at least take a chance with these things. Like, um, and I think it, I, a lot of people I regret like not having taken this chance. So I, I, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I was kind of nervous of actually like turning something in, you know, in fear that I wasn't going to get anything. Um, but yeah, I'm just really glad that I, I worked really hard on my speech. I was proud of my speech and I'm glad that I was able to not only like uh, spread the message that I had in my speech to like other people, but also I got recognition for uh, something that I, I really loved writing and um, saying out loud. Awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Congratulations to you. Oh, that's so Thank cool. You. Tanya, tell us a little bit about the award you, you received. So I got the silver medal for my category varsity, which is second place. And as Anissa mentioned, there are three categories. It is goes from honors, then scholastic, then to varsity. So um, when I first heard that I won this award, I couldn't believe it. I literally needed to see the documentation. I thought that it was wrong. I didn't think that I would have received an award. I never believed in myself. I'm going to be very honest. I have really low self-esteem. And I just entered the contest on a whim because so much had happened to me um, this past year. And I just needed a change. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to write this essay and I'm going to submit it to this competition because um, 
why not? And when I heard that I received it, I just felt so proud of myself because um, I kind of just wrote this essay for some. I mean, <laughs> I wrote the speech for someone. And um, it just hits home because this message, um, I just thought that it could help so many people going through these times, especially people who have like lost someone and are just feeling this kind of emptiness. And I just want to give them the message that um, despite feeling all these emotions, it's okay. And that even though you think you can't do something, just give it a try because you never know what might happen. Oh my. I should, I can't just share something real quick. Yeah, go um, ahead. You know, these topics were very personal to both of them. They were personal, having to do with their lives and things that they experienced. So I'm, I'm glad they went there. They didn't have to go there, but they did. And, and they also were money prizes too. So Vanessa got a hundred bucks, <laughs> Tanya got $150. And remember, this is not just like a few people in the area. This is the whole district was invited. Yeah. Several schools participated. We beat, we beat some of the big boys here. And so to get a bronze and a silver, uh, <laughs> and they only give out three medals for each category, it's a big deal. So we're proud of them. And I could tell um, from both of you that that you 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 gave your heart to this, and it, it hit some certain levels of your emotions and and, and your heart. So um, that that is, wow, that is so admirable. And we are oh so proud of you, and we applaud you for putting yourself out there and taking risks and just going for it. Like you said, why not? You know, and um, that's those are things that we as human beings, whether you're a student at Southgate or you're a faculty member, we as human beings um, need to hear that from others and need to um, be inspired by others. And so I am hands down inspired by you both. And uh, wow, we really, really do appreciate you just going for it. Despite everything happening, you guys doing what you guys did, it makes us so, so very proud. So thank you so much for sharing the good news with us. How cool, you even got some money on top of it. <laughs> Yes, now, 10% to the coach. I know, right? No, no, no. You're taking Aguilar out to lunch. No. This is Aguilar, you are, you are phenomenal. You, no. the guy These guys did the, it. These guys. Things that you Thank do you. with your, your, de, your decathlon, um, decathletes, I want to say. Your decathletes. Yeah, decathletes. Yeah, amazing. Um, so thank you so much for sharing with us. Vanessa, Tanya, are there any last, um, last minute words you'd want to share with your like students or the faculty community or the, the Southgate community you want to share um, as we close out? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I do want to mention that we are going to start recruiting members for Academic Decathlon as our season is almost over. Competition ends on February 6th and majority of our team this year is our seniors. Tanya is a senior, I'm a junior. So we're going to need a lot of new people to join. Um, as we, we have nine varsity members and as many junior varsity as there can be. And if you are interested in like participating in competitions, speeches, and getting mo mo money prizes or you know, medals, that's definitely something if that sounds cool to you. Definitely join and reach out to Mr. Aguilar. And yes, we're excited to accept new members. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tanya, anything you want to close out? Um, well, sure? just join academic decathlon. It might seem a little intimidating at first because there are a lot of subjects that we have to study, but you will surprise yourself. I think we all are capable of accomplishing a lot oh. and we just have to see that. Oh, wow. That's powerful. Wow. You guys inspire me. Thank you so, so much. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you for all that you do. Continue to Keep doing what you're doing and and lead and, and do the great things that you do and make the impact that you, the positive impact that you are making among your classmates, your family, friends, and the community. Good job, guys. We're so proud. Thank you. Aguilar, any final words? No, I'm just, again, of course, I'm, I'm proud. And, and really the kids, um, they uh, kind of gravitate. We get students who, who participate. So I do want, like Vanessa, Sharon, and Tanya, I do want to encourage people who think, oh, maybe it's not for me, but you'll be surprised to be in this community. It's a very welcoming community, and we definitely uh, appreciate it. There's so many people who are so gifted, not just in their studies, but their personality and what they could bring. Because remember, some of these uh, categories are speech, interview, and uh, boy, we have some kids here who just have uh, bubbly personalities. And, uh, and then we also have studious kids. But uh, we want to welcome everyone to this. Everyone's welcome. And just give it a shot like Tanya sh shared. You'll be surprised. Um, it's it's uh, we welcome you. That's probably my last words. We, we welcome you to this next year, year. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for this time. We really appreciate it. And um, 
hopefully we'll have some more sessions like this. We can kind of connect and see. Well, we're hoping in a couple of weeks we'll have some more good news. <laughs> okay, sounds good. We'll make it a thing. We'll put it on a YouTube channel. How's that sound? Sounds great. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. No problem. You're welcome. Take care.